Hello everybody, my name is Aishas, and welcome to this guide on how to counter Matador's execution combo in Secret Punch shows. My reasons for making this guide are quite simple. I've noticed that a lot of new players have trouble dealing with skilled Matador's ability to execute them almost instantly, at least in their perspective. In order to demonstrate, however, that it is quite possible to counter Matador's ability to execute people with a certain combo, I will be showing you how to deal with that combo. I will do this by first assessing the combo, showing how it works, what the individual elements are, what limitations it has, and what to look at for in a match. Here you can see me playing against some static AI in practice mode, demonstrating the three elements, or actually two elements, of the execution combo. The first part of the combo consists of getting both banderias into a target followed by an optional blind, and then finally, the execution pounce. So with that done, let's have a look at the individual elements of the combo. For each element, I will discuss what the exact effects are that it has, but also what its limitations are. Now the first step of the combo is for the Matador to get both Banderias onto a target. She has two ways of going about this. The first method is by far the more popular for Matadors that are trying to go for an execution. They will try to approach you and then stab you with both Bandarias at the same time. Not only does this land both of these Bandarias into you, opening you up for an execution, but it also knocks you down. In the meantime, the Amatador automatically switches over to the Sword and Cape, which allows them to go for a blind and then follow up with a pounce. This attack does have certain limitations, however. It can be fairly challenging to hit and even easier to dodge if you see the Matador coming towards you. Now, the second way that Matadors can try and get an execution going on you is by throwing their Bandarigas at you. This is a lot harder to hit than stabbing, but provides them with extra range, and if this attack connects, it will do additional damage on the second Bandaria that hits. Now, the obvious downside of this attack for the Matador is that they need to remain consistently accurate, as they need to hit you with two attacks rather than just one. It also has additional range, so it is a lot easier to miss their target. So with the opening attacks of the execution combo covered, let us turn to the second but optional element of an execution combo, the blind. Now the blind is technically not part of the execution combo itself, but it is a very popular addition to the attack because it provides the Manador with a measure of safety by being invisible to the opponent that she's trying to attack. Now the blind itself is pretty straightforward. If you get hit by it, you will be unable to see Matador for a short amount of time. There are however two things to the blind attack that should be noted when defending against executions. First of all, the length of the blind attack depends on how many Bandarias are in you. This means that if you are being targeted for execution and you have two Bandarias in you, the blind will last its maximum duration, which lasts roughly 5 seconds. The second thing to note is that the graphics effects of Matador's attacks are not hidden when you are blinded. This could give you a pretty good indication of where Matador is, if you pay close attention to what's happening around you. If you pay close attention to the background footage playing now, you should be able to see this. This leads us to the third and final step of the execution combo. This is the Sword Pounce, or as it's called in Matador's movement sheet, Tercio del Muerte. It is this Sword Pounce attack that delivers the killing blow, and it has some very distinct features that will help you identify when it is used. The Tercio has a decent range, but requires to be fully charged in order to be used. Also, any damage taken by Matador while charging the Tercio will interrupt the attack, so they will have to charge the attack all over again. The Sword Pounce also has a very distinctive audio cue while it is being charged, namely the sound of castanets. As a result, I highly recommend playing with the sound on at all times. Pay close attention to the clicking or rattling sounds of the castanets in the following clip. Note that this sound does scale by distance, so based on how loud the sound is, you can judge how far away Matador is, even when you're blinded. Now that I've discussed the execution combo in quite a bit of detail, we can turn to what you can do to counter it when it's used against you. Before I get into the details of countering the execution combo, however, I feel I need to warn you that, like all things in Secret Ponchos, there is no substitute for practice. 
even after you finish watching this video, you're going to have to go in there and develop a feeling for how to use the methods that I'm about to describe. Also, keep in mind that the effectiveness of these counters is going to depend, at least in part, on your skill and that of the Matador player you're facing. The most skilled Matador players have a lot of experience facing these counters, and therefore will try to keep the pressure on you and make it a lot harder for you to pull off the counters successfully. Now, it's not always possible to prevent Matador from hitting you with both Matarias at the same time. Therefore, shit that happen, it is important that you try and get away from any Matadors in the enemy team as soon as you notice you've got two Banderias in you. Because this is so important, it is usually a good idea to either try and conserve your stamina in order to be able to escape, or make sure that you've got some way to speed your character up quickly. In the background, you'll see some footage of me using my Deserter's Adrenaline Rush in order to get away from a Matador that has put two Banderias in me. I think now that after that, it is usually not a smart idea to run through the enemy team when you're trying to escape Matador. Um, I was actually quite surprised that I managed to survive that particular escape run. But what can you do if you get into a situation where the Matadors are extremely persistent and manages to stay on top of you, or you do not have the stamina or special abilities to get away? In such a situation, it is usually not a bad idea to try and use the terrain in your advantage. If you can put something like a minecart or some other objects between you and the Matador, you're making yourself a lot harder to hit. Also, keep in mind that even when blinded, you can still get a decent idea of where the Matador is if you make good use of the castanet sound of the pounce attack, as well as visual effects left by the Matador's attempted attacks. Finally, if all else fails, you can also try to shoot Matador in order to try and interrupt her tertiary attack. However, if you fail to hit Matador in this situation, you're going to put yourself at risk, as you're making yourself an easier target by aiming, and even if you do manage to hit Matador, if you don't kill her, the Banderias will still be in you. Because of this, I recommend against shooting Matador as your go-to option. Instead, use it in situations where you don't have any means of escaping. Um, that shooting attack might just give you the time you need to regenerate the stamina that you require to get away. That about wraps up this guide on how to counter Matador's execution combo. I hope this guide has been useful to you. Feel free to leave a like or a comment below. There is no need to subscribe as I'm currently not intending to make a lot of these video guides. I wish you all a lot of fun playing Secret Pond shows and hopefully you'll get a lot of victory screens like the one showing now.